I've only known for a couple of days, and I just... I needed some time to... It's the last thing I expected. I'm not feeling well all the talk about the future I should have known. Oh, you didn't figure this out on your own? Who told you? Roxy? I knew I couldn't trust her. She walked in on me when I was reading the test strip. I should have known she couldn't keep a secret. Roxy, are you all right? Yeah, of course. Why shouldn't I be? You look like you just saw a ghost. I was just remembering something. Something that happened a long time ago. What was it? It's okay, you can tell me. When you were talking about little Sierra being ripped from your arms? Yeah. Same thing happened to me. Stacy's baby's father? I know nothing of him, only that it isn't my son Rex. Much as Stacy tried to pretend otherwise. Uh, well, she finally admitted the truth. That, uh, that baby had nothing to do with my son. Now she was finally forced to rely on a plethora of potential fathers to get herself with child. And the one she chose could turn out to be very valuable to us. His name is Skylar Joplin. You're right. I never should have gone along with Stacy and Kim. Bad move, okay? Bad move. I guess, honestly, I was terrified of being a father. I didn't want to lose Gigi, and so I kept my mouth shut. But I'm going to make up for it. You know how? I'm going to be a good father to my daughter. You're an addict. Recovering. Yeah, and isn't that whole deal about honesty? And isn't lying the first step down that slippery slope? Yeah, okay, slope? yeah, and I'm going to make amends, starting with my daughter. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that hurts Gigi. But like I said, she can come by and see Sierra anytime she wants. You're not hearing me, Joplin. I'm not asking you to do the right thing. I'm telling you. Are you talking about what happened with Rex? When what happened with Rex? When he was a little kid, his Aunt Corinne took him away from you. Corinne? No, it happened a long time before that. How much before? When he was born. Marty's pregnant, huh? Yeah. Good for her, huh? Well, she must be thrilled. And if I'm not mistaken, this is John's first child, right? Yep. Yeah, and he was none too thrilled to find out the news from me. From you? You told him? Yeah. It, it was it was actually it was by accident. I, I thought he knew and I, I just I went to congratulate him. Well, honey, how did you know? I wasn't snooping. No, I didn't say you were. When Marty was here the other day, Bree dumped her bag and I was picking up the stuff and that's when I saw the pregnancy test. And you went to congratulate John. Oh dear. Yeah, and everything's just gone downhill since then. I'm so sorry, honey. You know, it's just, it's just I'm, I'm worried about John, because, you know, he can't lie. And then when when Marty finally breaks down and tells him... He's going to have to tell her he heard it from you. And if she doesn't hate me now, she definitely will then. <sighs> I never meant for you to hear this from anyone but me. Especially Roxy. I didn't hear it from Roxy. Who told you? At this point, does it matter? Yes, it matters. No one else. This is nobody's business but yours and mine. Natalie told me. 